I, I quit my job, uh, so that was a pretty big, um, pretty big pressure. I had to figure out something, and I had a bunch of crazy ideas. Some, some of them not so crazy. Um, <clears throat> But yeah, I remember it happening in two phases. One, I came up with the idea, and really this was, the idea was for virtualization, uh, for, for what is what we all call the cloud today. Um, but what made that possible was this amazing piece of software called User Mode Linux, or UML. And it was um, written primarily by an uh, absolutely brilliant uh, engineer named Jeff Dyke. And I think he, he's, he was with Intel uh, a few years in, and he may still be there. I haven't looked him up in a while. But Jeff um, did an amazing thing. You know, when you port the Linux kernel to a new architecture, you port it to, to match, um, you know, the, the machine language of whatever processor it is that you're using. Well, instead of doing that, Jeff ported the, the Linux kernel to run on top of user space. And so, um, I mean, in this way, he basically turned the Linux kernel into a user space program. And you literally could run period forward slash Linux and hit return and see all the boot messages. And so that was uh, pretty amazing, actually. And so my job at that point was to develop the, the orchestration software, um, the control panel, the billing system, you know, uh, the software that would run on, these, on the machines that we now call hypervisors uh, to kind of drive uh, all that. But that was really the crux of it. So that, that was kind of phase one. Uh, when I realized that this was technically possible, um, and then two, when I came up with the name, Linode. It's a combination of Linux and Node. Okay. <clears throat> and I just imagine people saying, you know, my Linode. Okay. Something that was personal to them. 